Good morning, everybody. I have made it to the fireplace and I don't think I'm gonna get up. I grabbed my sheets to go put them in the wash and then I literally sat down just from walking two feet. I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna sit here. We, Mr. No Pictures, please, we need to take the tree and decorate it. Maybe in a few days. That's what we need to do. Do you want to come touch it? Calvin? No. Aww. I can get to touch the tree. Yeah. Oh, now you want to? Give me a touch it. Go. <gasps> We've been touching it this morning and pretending that it hurts. Ooh. Ow. Ow, that hurts on your back. Yeah. Or is it a good back scratcher? Ooh, your head? <laughs> your neck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Hey. Do you know that that used to be Mama's truck? Um, and you put Peppa in the truck? Yeah. <laughs> I hope we're gonna be able to get him out. Oh, we can, good. It's a good thing he is playing right now because I have mustered up enough energy to kind of get ready a little bit. And I'm using the last of her carpet cleaner or cleaner, the Folex has been my favorite thing for the carpet. You guys suggested it to me. But I just gotta clean up some spots. That soap that Calvin decided to put there, that's applesauce that I let the kids eat in here. Just gotta clean it up. You know what I'm really grateful for today is I'm really grateful that there are still just a few days left of November. It kinda gives me, I think I would feel a little antsy if it was like already December because we have a lot we wanna do and a lot to do, but I feel really good that there are still a few days left that I can kinda lay around, slowly do some things, and then like really get into the Christmas season and spirit in December. <laughs> I'm excited to decorate it after I get a few things like this done, like wipe up my house. Look at mama so I can see your face. Does that work? Yeah. He wanted a hat. <laughs> okay, we'll see if what Jackson thinks of that. We gotta go pick up Jackson from school and I don't know if Jackson's gonna love him wearing his hat, but he wanted to wear a hat. I think he'll be fine. Well, the hat situation went smooth. <laughs> Jackson got out of the car and goes, that's- Calvin wants to hold your hand. Oh, no, I'm, I'm holding Calvin Jackson's right now. See, and then I'll hold yours when we leave the store. Hurry, look, is there a car? Okay, let's walk, let's walk. When Jackson got out of the car, he saw Calvin and goes, that's my hat. You okay that Calvin's wearing your hat? No. <laughs> He'll just borrow it for the day. Why is he borrowing it? Because he really wanted to wear a hat. All right, listen up. Here's the situation. Here is the deal. My wife is not happy, and I aim to please her. I aim to make her happy, to make her laugh, and to make her smile, because she's my wife. She's my wife, and I want to make my wife a happy woman. The sad thing is, is nobody ever sees you, the, <laughs> the real you. Yeah, Like, because I did this all before. No, he didn't do this. He did the <laughs> funniest shiz I have ever seen, and I literally thought, where the, is the camera? The time? <laughs> I laugh at you, and sometimes I feel like it may look like I'm annoyed, which I'm not. This is literally the second time I'm doing this because I thought it was funny enough to pull out the camera. I we couldn't you, find it. I went back to Lowe's. Yeah. And I said, I need these blocks cut this way. Because they weren't square. They didn't cut them the way I thought that they did yesterday. Yeah. And the guy said, we can't do them that small. And I said, okay, you did it yesterday. And he goes, well, I didn't do it yesterday. And I'm like, oh shit. I was like, okay. So I said, so I can't get it done. He's like, nope. And I said, okay. I wasn't gonna fight it out of my two screaming kids. And I said, okay. So I came home, told Jared, the girls were gonna be fine with the size, but it's fine. And he said. I'm gonna go back to Lowe's. You know what I'm gonna tell him? I'm gonna go tell him to suck an egg. <laughs> and he said, and then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to my mom's. <laughs> It was funny in the moment. I So mom has a bandsaw and a chop saw and a sander. It's actually my chop saw. So I'm gonna no, take these. More manly than ours. Hey, hey, she, half of it is my stuff. And uh, so we're gonna cut these down to size. I'm gonna take the kids with me or at least one of them or none of them. I don't know. Just whatever, whatever makes Ellie happy. 
because that's what we're please aiming to do. She's got this assignment in a couple hours for the church, and we, I want to make this right, so the kids aren't and like. It would be fine. Like, yeah. Girls don't care. It would still be fine, but it just was not. I was like, dang it. So. You know, so they share. So I'm taking matters in my own hands. Have I said that four times already? <laughs> <laughs> Your husband has returned. <laughs> I have good news. Penny, this is cool stuff, but it's not for you to see. This is for mom. Okay, it's not perfect, okay? But it's a heck of a lot better than Who it was before. Who needs woes when I have the best husband? Oh, uh, thanks. Look that how square and perfect those are, Ellie. Thank you. You're for so doing welcome. That. And you know what? I even cut extra, so in case some of the girls want to try over, start over, or mess up or anything, cute. there's Penny extra off. Off, for off, everyone. Off. We just gotta sand some of this down. That's cute. You are all set to go for well, your thank December you. countdown. I'm actually ready to go like now. Well, guess so what? <laughs> Those were done an hour ago. Thank you. Oof, we're I good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey. Ew! Okay, now I love you so much. I love you so much. I want to be really grateful, but I'm also just like. <laughs> the kids are going crazy right now, and Penny is going crazy right now. Hey, let's. She is. She is ready to go on a walk, and she knows she's gonna go on one. So we're gonna go on a walk, okay? It's just like getting towards the end of the evening, and I don't have like any left in me. <laughs> Let's go on a walk, sister. Let's go on a walk. Can you guys hear this? Oh my gosh, unlock the door, Cal. Jackson, every time he goes to the bathroom, Calvin thinks that's like the perfect time to go and demolish the bathroom with toilet paper. Like Calvin just has come out of his shell the last few weeks and have just gone wild. Calvin, I told you to unlock the door. Look at me. Look at mom. Don't lock it. Calvin, was that naughty to do? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Penny, are you ready? Wait. Take a break. Good girl. Okay, you ready to have some fun? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Calvin. Come on, bud. You're doing great. Oh, what is that? Do you have a rock in your mouth? Is that a rock? Is that a rock? Oh, wow. Sucking on a rock, huh? Do you want to keep this for your rock collection? Yeah. Okay, well, let me put it in my pocket. <laughs> that way you don't have to hold it in your mouth. That's ucky. Let's go. It is such a beautiful day, and we all needed to get out of the house today, huh? And so we're riding our bikes, taking Penny for a walk, and it's beautiful outside today. It's not that chilly, which is so surprising for Utah because it's end of November. It's almost December. There's no snow, and it's like not even freezing. It's not even cold. The kids do not want to wear jackets. And I'm kind of like, you guys should wear jackets, but they're like, no way. We're, we're pumping iron in here. We're riding our bikes. We're going quick. We're getting the blood flowing. We're having a good time. So that's, that's what we're doing. But it's beautiful out here. I love the blue sky. I love the mountains. I love my kids. I love my dog. And we're having fun. We're going to the Rock Hill. We're going to the Rock Hill. That's right. Ready, set, go. Dun 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 dun. Oh, don't stop. Keep going. Ready, set, go. Oh, crash. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's crashed. What are we going to do? <laughs> We're going to get back up. That's right. Get back up and try again. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ready, set, Oh, he crashed again. Oh, you crashed too. Penny, come. 
Good girl. Good girl, Penny. Good girl. Well, careful, go under, go under, go under, go under. I somehow knew this was gonna happen, carrying everything, but I didn't think it happened this fast. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's going on? So I left, I just got back for two days. We're back in the bathroom, guys. Today we're in the bathroom. And I heard Jackson downstairs saying, Calvin, hurry, hurry, hurry. You gotta put the seat down. And you were helping him get undressed to go potty. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? Because. Jackson, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Were you letting Jackson help you? Thanks. Wow. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm speechless. I just grabbed the cameras and I was You're running going downstairs. To the okay. Pop in the toilet. Do you want to go again? No. What made you think he needed to go potty? Did he tell you? Yeah. As I was putting Jackson to bed, I seriously had one of the sweetest moments with him. And I feel like I have a lot of sweet moments. But I was putting him to bed and he always asks, What was I like as a baby? What was daddy like? And we, like every night, that's our routine and we talk about it. And um, he was asking about the baby and we and we ended up talking about how I had lost the baby before and how I said, and we really are hoping that this baby stays strong. So far this baby's strong, but we're hoping it continues that way. Um, I've had, you know, Ruby and Joy, they both have had ultrasounds and then a few weeks later things don't look good. You know, you just never ever know. But um, Jackson brought it up. And he said, and we talked about how I lost the baby before, and now this baby is going to be really strong. And I said, let's say a prayer and ask for this baby to be really strong. And so we said a prayer, and it just was so sweet. Like, he wanted to say it, and it was just so sweet. And um, when Jared and I had the miscarriage before, we tried to get a babysitter. My in-laws were out of town. No one could watch the kids. But we didn't want Jackson and Jared in the waiting room because then it would be me by myself. And it wasn't the ideal situation, and I knew that going in, but it was what it was, and we were a family, and we went in, and it wasn't very good news. And Jackson's young, and it wasn't my favorite way that I wish that I would have done things, but that's how it was. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad for him to know that we were excited and we lost the baby, and now I'm pregnant again, and we waited a little bit to tell him still pretty early but we told him and I am glad that we are doing it this way and when my aunt passed away Jackson knew Aunt Sonia Jackson loved Aunt Sonia he loved seeing her he would sit on her lap she would kiss him she'd hug him and when she passed away you know he's only four so he doesn't quite grasp it but often he has mentioned about Aunt Sonia and about her and um, it's just you know, it's just that. <laughs> and so I just really enjoyed having a very sweet and tender moment with Jackson and for him to remember that we had lost a baby and that he had that he thought about that and he was just, he's just been really cute to me. And um, Jackson is only four, but I swear his soul is old. So he's always been a comforter to me and Jackson has always been a comforter to others. I don't think I ever leave a store without somebody commenting about Jackson. Strangers, old grandpas, what a good boy you are. Like, it's not a coincidence that everyone comments about him, strangers in public. Like, he just radiates love. And I'm so grateful that he's mine. I'm so grateful that Jared and I are trusted to have him. And I'm gonna stop boobing because no one likes a boob. And I boob plenty. <laughs> I mean, people like boobs, but they don't like me boobing. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to share this with future Ellie and future Jackson to look back on. This is why we vlog. This is why I do what I do. I, I live in the moment and I capture what I want and I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful that um, 
not only that, I'm able to share it with others. And I'm so grateful for everybody's stories. You all have been so kind. I've loved hearing your stories, especially on Twitter. I've been really interactive there. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog and take a bath, relax, <laughs> drink lots of water because I'm feeling like I need it. And I will see you guys tomorrow.